In the last two weeks, there's been a scripture that keeps coming to my heart, and I believe it's a prophetic word. Now I'm prophesying. The scripture is 1 Kings chapter 22. You don't have to open there. Just put it at the back of your mind. I've taught us in this place about the understanding of times. And the secret to understanding times is to understand the implication of numbers. I believe that in every 22nd chapter of the Bible is encoded the destiny and the prophecy of God for Nigeria. Now if you read 1 Kings chapter 22, it was the judgment of a particular king. He was called Ahab, who had ruled for about 20 to 22 years. In fact, God said it there. Who will convince Ahab to go and die? He was going to take possession of a particular city, but he didn't know it was his death. And for the past two weeks, God has been putting this in my heart. That the next six months in this year, which is July to December, we may be ready to see shakings and divine judgment. What did I say? Shakings and divine judgments. Not just in Nigeria alone, but globally. Things are going to get tougher. National economies will crash. There's going to be tumults in government. In fact, not too long from now, there will be a planned assassination of a governmental figure. This is globally now, but it will also happen in Nigeria. You will see it on the news like you are seeing this one. There will be the planned assassination or failed attempt assassination of a governmental official. It will happen twice. One will be at the global scale. The other one will be in Nigeria. Put it at the back of your mind. It will happen. Don't worry. It doesn't make sense now. The way I was saying in that video that it didn't make sense then. But it happened two months later. I want us to pray for those in government. The church needs to pray. If the church doesn't pray, evil men in this country may prevail. Amen? What did I say? Evil men may prevail. I told us to register and get our PVC. Me, I went to do registration. And I will soon have my PVC in my hand. Say amen. amen. So let's be actively involved in our democratic process in this country as Christians. But let us also support it with prayers. There is going to be a shaking and divine judgment. And the judgment will not be God against a set of people. The judgment will be the will of God concerning Nigeria will come to play. Anybody that is siding that will, will rise and will be preserved. But anybody that is against it, those who don't want Nigeria to see peace, will go down within these six months. Amen. You've not heard anything yet. I'm telling you, watch the news. You will hear all kinds of things that will happen. There will be judgments in the places of power. And even in the church, there will be judgment. But for you and I, we are going to be under the covering of the cloud and the fire of his presence. In the name of Jesus, strange things are about to happen. I said there will be shakings and what? Judgment. I spoke to you and I told you now that there will be a failed attempt assassination. Okay, one will happen. That's what the Lord is saying now. One will happen. But the other one will be failed. I want us to pray for those in government, particularly those of you who have people that are in government. Please pray for them that they are shielded and make sure you talk to them to do good and don't be corrupt because corrupt people will go down this time of the year in Nigeria. Did you hear what I said? All corrupt people will go down. You will still keep hearing them catching people who have embezzled money. It will keep coming back. You keep hearing it on the news. Corrupt and wicked people in this country. Geno July to December is their end. Amen. Says the Spirit of God. And God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. And